Hello, welcome to this channel. In this short video, I would like to talk about V engines. What are they? So before we go and talk about V engines, let's see what an engine is. Here with engine, we are talking about the IC engine or internal combustion engine. So this is an example of or a sketch of an IC engine. So here you can see the, the main parts of an IC engine. So this is the piston. Piston actually uh, reciprocates inside the cylinder. So this is the cylinder part. And the cylinder is surrounded by a cooling jacket, which is W here. And uh, on top, there is a spark plug. So a spark plug is used for burning the fuel inside, fuel, a mixture of fuel and air. And then we have got the inlet valve and the inlet uh, camshaft and this is the exhaust valve so through the inlet the gas air and the gasoline the fuel in the form of gas will come in it will be sucked in because of the movement of this piston downwards so it will be sucked in and when the piston goes up the mixture of air and the fuel will get compressed and at that point the spark plug will give a spark basically electrical spark and it will burn so because of burning huge amount of compression compressive stress will be created the force will be created and because of this the piston will be pushed downwards so when the piston is pushed downwards and the, in the next stroke, the piston will, piston will go up and this valve will open, the exhaust valve will open and the gases, the burnt gases will go out of this by exhaust valve. So this is the whole process of a four stroke IC engine. So this is one set of engines and this connecting rod, connecting rod which is connected to the piston on this side and to crankshaft on this side so this because of the movement of the piston the uh, the connecting rod will rotate the uh, convert the reciprocation motion into a rotational uh, rot rotary motion so the crankshaft will rotate and from here we will tap the um, the power so this is the function of an ic engine so a V engine, it is a common type of internal combustion engine. So it is an IC engine. Inside this V engine, two sets of cylinders remain connected over the crankshaft at a generally 60 to 90 degree angle. So basically, these are the two IC engines which are connected to the crankshaft here. And this, these two engines are connected, making a V shape. shape. So this, that's why this is called V engines. And there are some advantages of V engines. So the formation of this angle makes it look like a V. This V shaped form makes their size smaller than other types of engines. So because of the V shape, actually we are using this space more efficiently. And therefore these type of engines are compact, smaller in size, so you can get more number of IC engines connected to this crankshaft in a small space. So therefore, these kind of engines will give you better power. So here just now we have seen the operation of an IC engine. And this shows one and simulated diagram of a 12 V12, that means 12 pistons there are 12 cylinders and pistons so here you can see one two three four five six on this side and six on the other side so they are all connected to the crankshaft here so basically 12 such kind of ic engines are rotating this crankshaft and therefore they get much better power compared to a situation when you have got all these in one line and in one line it will take much more space the crankshaft will be much longer and therefore it will not be possible 
to actually generate this much of torque or power. The applications of V engines, the V2 means there are two engines, two IC engines. This small sized engine is mainly used in high end motorcycles like cruisers and sports bikes. However, manufacturers, manufacturers of small cars also use V2 engine. So V2 is a smaller engine and therefore they are very suitable for motorcycles. And you can see some of those um, high-end motorcycles use V2. <clears throat> V4, the application of this engine type is mainly in marine outboards. V6, some of the automobiles in which manufacturers use V6 engine are railway engines, marine outboards and racing cars. V8, the main application of V8 engine is in luxury cars, sports cars, pickup trucks. And V12, because of its high manufacturing costs, you can see this application only in high-end cars like Ferrari, uh, Lamborghini, and Mercedes-Benz. So, basically, uh, V engines are compact and therefore we can have more engines, um, more IC engines connected to the crankshaft and therefore we can get better power. But these kind of engines are, um, manufacturing cost of these engines are higher because of the complexity. Following are some of the major components of the V engine. So these components are same as in any IC engine. So camshaft, inject injector rocker arm, injector control uh, shaft and so on. So all these are common to any kind of engines like V engine or uh, inline engines and following are some of the major advantages of V engine. V engines are available in different sizes containing 2 to 24 cylinders. So you can get a very large range of cylinders. These engines come in small sizes and lighter weights compared to their inline engines. So for the same number of cylinders the inline engines will be longer will be bigger and heavier whereas the V engines will be lighter. In terms of performance also the V engines outcompete inline engines. Noise and vibration are less because of more uh, cylinders connected at different angles at 60 degree. Okay. So this way um, the, the rotation of the crankshaft is much more efficient. As V engines use more pistons they can transfer power to crankshaft more efficiently. But there are some disadvantages. The V engines are complex in structure uh, because of the arrangement of these uh, cylinders and pistons in a small space. Therefore, their manufacturing and servicing process is complicated and costly. Drivers may face issues like vibration and mechanical stress from their cars if the installation of the V engine is improper or unbalanced. So this is very, very important part. Even though the V engines can be um, quieter, less vibration, but if they are not installed properly, their vibration can be high. It consumes more fuel in comparison to inline engines. And again, this uh, can be different for different cases because for the same torque, V engines might be lighter and in that case it can actually consume less fuel. Its maintenance is also expensive. So V engines are very very complex and therefore the maintenance will be complex um, and expensive. So the, this is all about the V engines. So V engines are basically IC engines where the piston and the cylinders are uh, connected making uh, an angle of 60 degree. So that's why they look like V. So now I, I would like to show you some of the, uh, the videos from the YouTube. For example, in this video, you can see uh, several uh, pistons. Pistons are connected and this is an inline uh, IC engine, inline engine, whereas in the previous video, it is V, v engine. So here you can see the pistons are connected in V-shape. In this example, you can see the 
V engine. So there is one cylinder and piston set here, whereas there is another uh, piston and cylinder set here. So this makes a, an angle of 90 degree in this case. So this is how the piston connecting rod is actually rotating the crankshaft. And because of this rotation, uh, the engine is running. So this gives you all the uh, picture of the, the air coming in, air fuel mix, mixture is coming in and then they go out through the exhaust. So in this video you can see the, the crankshaft and this is an inline um, engine. So here these four pistons and cylinders are connected in a row and this is the crankshaft. And now in this movie you can see the V-shaped or V-engine. So here these pistons are connected in V-shape and they are connected to the crankshaft here and the rest of the part of the engines. So this is how the V engines look like. So thank you very much for watching this video and I would like to acknowledge the help of the websites and the YouTube from where I have taken these uh, teaching materials. So thank you so much.